All right, this is the move you're gonna find that we're gonna be doing on the row machine. It's just a variation. So when you get done with a certain number of meters of row, you'll place your handle back in. You'll get full extension on the way back. And you find that position where you're shaking a little bit. If people got strong abs, they may not be shaking like that. But really where all the tension is on the abs, you just kind of stay in that little pocket and pulsate. And you'll find, you know, when people are doing this wrong, you don't want to have arms out in front of you because that counteracts your body weight. That makes the movement easier. Tell people they're trying, this ain't a vacation. We ain't trying to take it easy in here, right? So you want to get hands behind the head. You can even get a weight behind there if you want to have tension. Hands on the chest. If there's somebody that's really overweight that needs some help getting up, then they can kind of throw their arms ahead of them a little bit, but make sure they're not fully extended. Another thing you want to do is make sure they're not coming all the way up. So it's really just a two, three inch movement. That way they're keeping that tension and that angle on the abs the entire time, keeping that pressure. After they get done with that, they may resume a row or go to another movement, but that is pulsating sit-ups on the row machine.